This video will explain the findings of a scientific article from 2020. In this article, scientists investigated the origin of the cytokine storm seen in patients with severe COVID-19. The emerging coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 was declared a pandemic in March 2020 by the World Health Organization, which also named the outbreak COVID-19. Since then, the whole world has gone through big challenges and the virus has indeed had a strong impact worldwide. People who are infected with SARS-CoV-2 respond to the virus in very different ways. Some might not notice it at all, or get mild symptoms, whereas some others get severe disease, which in the worst case can lead to death. So, you might wonder why some people get mild symptoms, whereas some get life-threatening symptoms. Severe COVID-19 is often caused by the immune system going out of control when trying to fight the virus. These patients have hyperinflammation, which can be seen in the blood as very high levels of cytokines. These high levels of cytokines are often referred to as cytokine storms. So, let's clarify what a cytokine and a cytokine storm is. Briefly, cytokines are a broad category of small proteins that are involved in cell communication, acting like small messages. If a cytokine producing cell receives an external stimuli, it can produce and release cytokines. These cytokines will bind to a receptor that is located on a target cell, and this will start intercellular signaling in the target cell, which will result in cell activation. Alright, so cytokines can be further categorized in many subgroups depending on the properties. For example, some might activate inflammation. Examples of cytokine producing cells include white blood cells. When it comes to hyperinflammatory COVID-19 patients, high levels of circulating cytokines are measured in the blood. But it's not understood where these cytokines are produced and which cell types that contribute to the massive cytokine storm. Therefore, a research team at Lund University, Sweden, aims to understand which cell types are responsible for the high levels of cytokine observed in patients with severe COVID-19. For this, they compared patients with severe COVID-19 to healthy controls. First, they took blood samples and measured the amount of cytokines. They found that there is an increase in cytokine levels in patients with severe COVID-19. Then they separated the cells in the blood to see which kind of cells produce the cytokines. What they found out is that there is a mismatch. COVID-19 patients had a lot of cytokines in the blood, but some of them didn't seem to come from the white blood cells that were analyzed. Instead, there must be some unknown cell type that is responsible for the increased cytokine production in COVID-19. Finally, they added a bacterial toxin as a danger signal to see if COVID-19 patients' immune cells react stronger than healthy cells activated by danger signals. Here, they found that COVID-19 patients' cells respond much stronger than healthy control by producing the cytokine IL-1 beta. Because of this, they think that blocking IL-1 beta signals might help patients who have hyperinflammatory COVID-19.